Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're doing well. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to control and exploit browsers with a tool called Beef. So, if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps out a ton. And this video is for educational purposes only. So let's go ahead and we're going to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Linux server, but you guys will need some sort of Linux. So either Kali or, or Parrot or Ubuntu should work. Now once we're in our Linux environment here, we can go ahead and start to install Beef. So to do this here, we're going to need to have a couple packages. So we're going to need to install Ruby and the Ruby developer packages. So we can go ahead and type sudo apt install and we'll do Ruby and then we'll do Ruby dash dev. Oops. Dev. And then we should also install Git. Now Git should be installed on most copies of Linux already, but if not, this should go ahead and install it. So it also won't be as quick as it was for me here. I already had these packages installed, so it may be a little bit longer for you. Let's go ahead and we'll clear our screen. And now let's go ahead and make a folder to keep our tools in. So this step is not necessary, but it's just really good just so you can help keep track of your tools. So we'll go ahead and we'll type mkdir tools. So it's gonna say that I cannot create it here because I already have a tools folder. So if you do have one, go ahead and type cd tools. And we can clear our screen. And now we're ready to clone the beef tools GitHub repository. So to this, we can type git clone and then the URL here of beef. Go ahead and press enter. And just from just a reminder for you guys, all these commands will be in the description so you guys can easily copy it in. And now you should see we don't have any problems. So we can go ahead and we clear our screen. Now we can type the CD beef, and now we should be in the beef folder. So if we type PWD, we are in home, my name here, tools, and then beef. All right, so let's clear our screen. And if it asks for yes, we'll say yes here. And here we go, looks like everything's going right. And now it's going to install the Ruby packages. Now here we go. So now we can go ahead and we'll clear our screen. Now let's go ahead and launch beef. So once again, if we type ls, we can see here we have our beef file. So this is what the file that we're going to use when we want to launch it. So let's go ahead and we'll change the permissions once again. We'll do sudo chmod and we'll do plus x. And this time we'll type beef. So now we have given the beef file executable permissions. So now we can type sudo dot slash beef. And we'll go ahead and press enter. And let's see here. We got an error here. Default username and password is in use. Okay. So we gotta edit the config.yaml. So to do this, you can go ahead and type sudo, and we'll do nano config.yml. Okay, here we go. Now let's see, right here is our credentials. So why don't we go ahead and set the password to one, two, three, four, five. Very secure password. And our username here will happen to be parrot. All right, and we'll press control X, then we'll press, then we'll press Y and we'll press enter. There we go. And now if we type uh, cat, and what do we do? Config.yaml. We can now see right up here at the top, right here, username and our password. There we go. And let's clear. So now we can run sudo dot slash beef. And let's see what it says here. So right here, we've got our web UI URL. So if you're, if you're running beef on your machine, you could go ahead and use this this URL here, or you can use this one here at the bottom. Now, I'm, a, I'm not running this on my personal machine, I'm running it on my server, so we're gonna go ahead and use this bottom one here. And we'll open a new browser window, and we'll paste that in. And let's give it a second. It should ask here for our username and our password. So why don't we go ahead and we'll enter in a parrot and our super secure one, two, three, four, five password, and we'll press login. There we go. Let's increase our size a bit so you can actually read that. Okay, how about a little bit more? Okay, there we go. So now over here is our, we see here we got our hooked browsers. So we don't have anything just yet. So we'll just keep these in mind here. Uh, we got our logs, we've got our zombies. So zombies we can worry about later. This is if somebody's connected to your site here, you can check that out. Okay, and now we should go ahead and see here we have a demo page and we have our advanced version so these are pre-built sites that we can mess around with now you could go ahead and you can build your own site and use the Apache service to host your website and then you can use the hook and whatnot and that's gonna take a while 
So I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to showcase here the advanced site here. So look at this here. We've got, let's get the zoom out a tad. We've got a really interesting, uh, I guess, site of beef here. Very cool. And now the cool part is as soon as we go back here, we can click right here and look what we got here. We've got the date I've clicked on it. We've got some information here. See, this is the host name. And this is where I came from. And we can see our screen size, the screen width, the battery level. I mean, you don't really have a battery level on my PC. You can see your architecture. And this is all a lot of really interesting stuff. So that's really cool that we can take a look, take a look at. Now, the cool thing here, and this is the most important part of beef here, is this little command tab here. So we got all these really interesting things that we can mess around with. We've got some exploits, we got some browser things. So why don't we go ahead and we'll just click here. See, we got all these different things we can mess with. So why don't we go ahead and we're gonna look at the social engineering first. So we got some really cool things here. Uh, why don't we go ahead and let's look at the Google phishing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll press execute. Now if we go back here, oh, look at that. Google Mail. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll enter in our super secure login credentials. So we'll do a, uh, yeah, Gmail, yay. Okay, and the password here will be, and we'll press sign in. Oh, and what happens? We get, oh, oh, this closed. And we'll go back, oh, hey, look at that. We got directed to the real Google sign in page. But if we go back here to beef here, see, we go over to, let's see, we'll click right here, where the module result history, and we've got our email we entered, and the password says subscribe, please. Yeah, so make sure, guys, to go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate it. That was something really cool, and this is really, really scary, because, you know, you could be following for a website that has a valid SSL certificate, or it may look legit. But really, somebody else is on the other side that's now spoofing your login credentials. So let's go ahead and look at another module here. So why don't we go ahead and let's look for the redirect. And we can do the Rickroll one too, that's really funny. But we're going to be looking at the iframe here. So the iframe will allow us to pretty much redirect anybody to any page here. Now this will also not directly redirect them. It's going to load the website in an iframe. So if you look up here at the top, the URL here is not going to change at all. So let's go ahead and we'll press execute. And we can see here the URL has not changed. And we are at the Beef Projects website here. So we can expand this and look at that. And if we just refresh it here, now we're back here on Beef. Really interesting. Okay, so let's look at one more module. So the module that I want to look at here is the alert function here. So now this here in the alert dialog here, see it's marked orange. So if we go back to, let's say we'll go back to getting started here, we can see each one has a color. So the green one here is, this one should be pretty much invisible. So no, you're gonna have higher chances of not being discovered. But now I see as you go down here, orange, you might be visible. White, it hasn't been tested, and then the red does not work. So that's some good info that we can see here. So now let's go ahead and we'll go back here. And we'll choose right here, I want commands, and let's look for alert. Okay, and we'll do create alert dialog. So let's expand this a tad. Right, there we go. Now this is gonna be our alert here. So we'll say, hello, you are hack. Yes, and we'll press execute. And we should see here, hopefully if it comes up. And there we go, hello, you are hacked, yes very cool so now these are some little modules that you can play around with and it's really scary to think that you could just be falling for a phishing attack at any time and it may look really legit so if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe get an antivirus get a VPN and I'll see you guys all later